Um, in terms of the two point two to two point six billion dollars, uh, that is significantly higher than the eight hundred million dollars that was flagged in the original business case and the original infrastructure New South Wales preparation. You would agree with that? Uh, yes, I would. The, um, the the Sydney Gateway project is a very different project. Um, How it is from from what was flagged. Um, at that time, and that, and that's why a decision was taken some time ago now, probably as early as 2015, to um, have the Sydney Gateway as a separate project with the West Connect project making a contribution to When was it. that decision made? So uh, around 2015. Um, I'd have to take the exact date on notice. When in 2015 was the decision made by the Sydney Gateway to separate it? So, so I'd have to take the exact date on notice. What I can say is on the 1st of October... What do, you? On the 1st of October in 2015, um, the West Connects Delivery Authority was dissolved and the Sydney Motorway Corporation, a whole range of governance changes were made. What I can say is at that time, um, RMS was responsible for the project development of Sydney Gateway, not the Sydney, Mo Sydney Motorway Corporation. So I'm happy to take the exact date on notice, but that but is it. Thereabouts that period of time. That's a, that's a round. It's a round about the time. Um, happy, as I said, happy to take on notice. But that's round about the time the gateway was removed from the West Coast. Well, well, so as I said, at that time, what I can say with certainty is that Sydney Motorway Corporation, on the date those governance changes were taking place, was not responsible for the project development of Sydney Gateway. RMS was really yes. I, I do wish to give, be fair to you, Mr. Koski. Are you sure that's the period of time? I'm, I'm happy to take. I'm happy to take the detail on notice, but um, but yeah. And well, it's uh, just astonishing because I'm I'm looking at the West Connects updated strategic business case from November 2015, and it describes stage two, Sydney Gateway, St Peter's to Sydney Airport and Port Botany, a high quality, high capacity connection between the new St Peter's interchange and the Sydney Airport and Port Botany precinct. So if you're saying that the governance changed in October 2015, and that's the point in which it it got removed from the project, then RMS is simultaneously publishing documents in the updated strategic business case. You've come to two estimates hearings since then in which the Sydney Gateway was there and it was on the West Connects website until August 2017. Yeah. So do you wish to re perhaps revise your timetable, Mr Koski? No, I don't. No. Uh, I mean, the, the, the West Connects project is making a substantial contribution to the Sydney Gateway project. The Sydney Gateway project is broader than that. So there is an intersection between those two projects. And I think, I think we've, we've gone over this at some length in the past, is that one of the objectives, one of the objectives of the Sydney Gateway project is for it to link the West Connect St Peter's interchange uh, with Sydney Airport. So it's entirely appropriate, it's entirely appropriate, and, it, and the project is making a contribution of $800 million um, in order to facilitate that process. So it's entirely appropriate that that, 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 is, that, that link um, is fully acknowledged and that the business case takes account of that $800 million. Um, so so, so you know, uh, there is nothing, there is, there's nothing inconsistent in the statements that I'm making. Who uh, made the decision to remove the gateway? Was that a cabinet decision? I'd have to take that on notice. Right. Um, uh, you say that the, there were substantial differences in the gateway as described in the, in the first case, business cases, and the project as it is contemplated going forward. Yes. What's substantially different? OK, what is substantial? So, so, so in the original business case, um, if we go back to the, you know, and, you know, go back to the original designs, it was, it was a pretty basic link. Um, well, let's go back to the time when the West Connects was described as the West West Connects Gateway connection. I was answering your question. Sorry. So, if you'd like me to answer your question, Please, I will. Please, um, So, what uh, what was described um, in the West Connects business case was, a, you know, was a, was a basic link between St Peter's Interchange um, and Airport Drive. Uh, what we have now is a very substantial. Um, uh, sort of motorway standard link between that those two points. But in addition to that, we have very substantial um, upgrades to accessibility to T1, which is the uh, international terminal for operational vehicles. We have very substantial um, changes to uh, the entrance to T2, T3, which is the um, domestic terminal, um, grade separating the flows of traffic between that 
traffic which is going to enter the domestic airport and that which is going to, uh, going to continue to flow past. We have a widening of airport drive. So what we have is um, you know, a range of very substantial additional things. In addition to that, the Sydney Gateway projects includes duplication of the freight, uh, three kilometres of freight line to, um, uh, to Port Botany. So is there a direct road link to Port Botany in the current design? Well, you can, you can go from St Peter's interchange. No, but is there, a direct, is there a direct road connection on the Sydney Gateway between the, to, to Port Botany precinct? Well, of course you can drive from Sydney Gateway. To no, on the to Gateway, Mr Konofsky. So, so, no, well, so, so, gate, so, so the Gateway project... Um, Are you saying that the Gateway project goes to Port Botany? Well, I mean, all roads go to Port Botany. Ultimately. Yes, that's true. But all roads go to Port Botany. But so the problem, with Mr. Konofsky, is that I, it just it worries me that you're not prepared to either answer that question directly or not, because it's a really simple question. Does the route of the Gateway go to Port Botany? So, so you, when you drive on the Gateway, you, can you drive from St Peter's Interchange to some, some to Port Botany via Perfect. via Sydney Gateway? Yes. And uh, directly to the port? Yes.